So hi everyone. OpenAI has recently launched OpenAI Swarm, which is a multi-agent orchestration framework. Unfortunately, the framework just supports OpenAI API key, and you can't use it with your LLM or any other API key. But we have figured out a way how you can use it. So for that, you first need to go to Olama-Swarm. This is a new Git repo, which is a fork fork of the original Swarm repo. Once then, this is basically an Olama implementation of Swarm. So basically now you can use your Olama models with OpenAI Swarm. So if you don't know, Olama is a software for using local LLMs in your system without any codes. So once you are able to reach this uh, repo, you need to git clone this repo. You will get an option. This is the URL for the repo. You need to git clone this. Once you have git cloned it, you need to go to the repo folder and create a file inside it. Whatever file you wish to use, use within this. Right, so this is the file that I've launched, openA-swarm. Once done, just go to this notebook. This is the notebook that I have created. Now, the two important things here you need to mention is that os.environment, openA endpoint. This is the environment variable that we need to set with Olama's endpoint. So do make sure that Olama instance is running. If you check here, this logo, as you can see, Olama is running in background. In my case, if don't, if it is not running in your case, do make it run. Or if you don't have it, install it. So just Google Olama and you would be able to get it. The next part is Swarm default model that is Llama 3.2, 1 billion that I'm using. You can use any other model. I would suggest you to first run Olama, run the model name in your CMD so that the model gets downloaded. Because what will happen if you use it directly here for the first time, it will take a lot of time to download. So you, you won't be able to make out whether the code is running or not. So this model is already available in my Olama, hence I would be using it. Rest of the code remains the same. The entire package is same because as I already told you, the repo was a fork of the original repo. So here we have created an English agent, a Spanish agent, and then you'll be creating a transfer function. The hands-off function transfer Spanish speaking users immediately. Functions dot append, we are appending the function to English agent, and then we are prompting this. Hola, comma, estas. So this is basically in Spanish. Once we run client.run agent equals to English agent, we are providing the transfer functionality to the English agent. I hope you have seen my previous video on what are the different features of OpenAI. So we are not discussing that. And here you can see you got an output. Now in the next example also here you can see that we are using some context variable. So context variables are variables that are shared across the entire application. So here using def instructions, you can get the variables name and user which we would be setting later on. Print account details. This is again a dummy application so that you can have an understanding that you can run Olama with OpenSwai AI Swarm now. I'm not using the API anywhere. We here we create an agent and we are passing the context variable while running client.run. And once you run it, you got an output here. The LLM has output since we don't receive any call functions name to use with the provide user question. The JSON response contains the full name of the function. Account details. I'm sorry, James, but it seems I don't have access to print all account details. So this is a multi-agent case with account detailing, some generic functionality that we have built. But now, as you must have got, you can use open source LLMs as well. So this is how you can use OpenAI Swarm using local LLMs and Olama using Victor B's uh, Olama Swarm repo. A great thanks to him. And you can find the URL in the comments below. Thank you so much.